Hello friends and welcome to another unboxing video. Today I'm checking out this uh, sh uh, little reading light shelf by Heimala. This is kind of a really neat looking light here. So on top we have the user manual with installation instructions. And this can be hardwired into your uh, house wiring here. Um, or it can be just plugged in. It has some little wall mounts here, these screws. And then here is the light. So first impression is this thing is like solid metal. This is, it probably weighs almost three pounds. And this is literally like a solid chunk of metal here. Pretty cool light here. So we have the mounting bracket on the back here and the plug-in cord. And then we have this little swivel light. And then in like an ambient uh, light on top, two little switches to um, activate these and a USB plug. So you put your phone right on top there. Nice little nightstand light here. I'm gonna go install this. Let's go check it out. Well, the first thing we wanna do is just remove these two screws on the side. This just need a Phillips head screwdriver. And just unscrew that. And then it has another screw on the other side. And we unscrew that one as well. Okay, that gets this bracket out there nice and solid. So if you wanted to this can be hardwired into like regular housing we're not going to do that though it does come with this nice long um uh, cord here so all i want to do is make sure that this is level and where i want it to be i'm going to put it right about here in the middle of this oh uh, in the middle of the wall there so um, you want to level too just to make sure that uh your shelf is going to be nice and straight so let's do that all right, since this shelf is pretty heavy, I recommend, um, I'm using these sheetrock anchors. These are pretty, really sturdy. They're rated for like 50 pounds each. Um, so I'm just gonna go with these instead. You can pick these up at a local hardware store. Okay, now that I found out kind of where I want this, I'm just gonna mount it right about here. And the main thing is I want that nice and level so get my level on top of there and then just make sure that's nice and straight that's perfect right there and then i can mark where i want my screw holes so i'm just going to put a hole right here with my screwdriver and i'm just going to put another hole right about there that's going to give me my two marks okay now that those are there what's nice about these is these are pretty much just self-drilling here i should just be able to drill right into here into the sheetrock You can use a um, a drill also if you want to to get through the sheetrock. Okay, we're through, and then the, this just screws right in there. It makes a really it's a really solid uh, connection right there. So there's number one. And then I'm just gonna go with number two here. And the sheetrock here is pretty hard. And same with the other side. I just apply some pressure while I'm screwing this in there.
there we go and that makes a nice solid connection okay now what we want to do is take our our plate here put a screw in there and just tighten that in there I like how solid this shelf is really really solid shelf and I'm gonna screw this in not all the way just about 99% of the way so there's a little bit of movement there still and that way when I tighten it all the way up, I'll be able to make sure it's perfectly level and ready to go. Okay, so here we have that. And this is still a little bit adjustable. So um, however I need to adjust this to make it perfectly level, I'm gonna get that on there. And then I'm going to tighten this down. Okay. And that is about as level as it's possibly going to get. There we go. That is nice. Okay. Our final step here is just to screw this in so I hope I don't drop this screw behind there I'm just gonna hand tighten this a little bit okay nicely done I'll tighten that in as much as I can there's one in and we have our other screw right over here I was left-handed I should have I'm right-handed and I did better with that other one than this one maybe because I wasn't looking I don't know this one's giving me a little bit of trouble I'm gonna back it out make sure my holes lined up try again okay there we go Then I just tighten this up with my screwdriver. This shelf actually feels super solid. Oh yeah, that's like a rock. Okay, we're gonna plug it in. And it's got a nice long cord too. So this cord, probably six feet long. So that's nice if you're uh, kind of further away from a, uh, a plug-in or whatever. This one's just gonna go right behind my headboard and plug in. Okay. And now, can test it out, see how well that works. I'm just going to go ahead and turn off my light. we got these little switches here. So that's a nice little uh, mood light or reading light. It's completely adjustable, however you want. So you just sit here and read a book. And also has that light right there. I'm going to turn off the lights in the room here. So we can see it puts off that. It's just the mood light on top there. It puts off a nice, a nice little glow. Um, and I like how solid this is. The switches seem really uh, firm. I'm going to put my uh, charger phone up on here, put in a USB real quick there, and uh, we'll see how that works. So whether I'm charging my phone up here or reading a book, that's like perfect lighting right there. I like how this is adjustable. I can switch it to anywhere I want up or down so that's really nice 
throws out a lot of light. So um, if I just want to have my little light on, and it's right here next to the bed. So if I'm getting tired and I'm done reading, I can just turn it off. Got the little mood light up there as well. And the charging thing for my phone or whatever I need for the USB. So really um, super handy. And what I like is how sturdy this thing is really strong. It's like solid metal. It's not going to come off of there. So, all right, my friends, thanks for watching this video. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.